Today we're doing our last topic <clears throat> before test two. We're going to talk about economics applications. It's actually rather short, so um, that will give us like half of today's class um, to work on review stuff. So we'll have half of today and Friday to start trying to pull all this stuff together um, and get ready for test two, which will be Monday. Okay, uh, Big Tree McGee is negotiating his rookie contract with a professional basketball team, and they have agreed to a three-year deal that's going to pay Big Tree a fixed amount at the end of each of three years, plus a signing bonus at the beginning of his first year. So they are still haggling about the, mount, the amounts, and Big Tree must decide between a big signing bonus and the fixed payments each year, or a smaller bonus, but the payments increase each year. So the two options are summarized in this table. All payments are in millions of dollars. So he can either take a $6 million signing bonus and a $2 million a year salary, or he can take a $1 million signing bonus and have his salary go from two to four to six million over three years. So knowing that he's going to invest all of his income in stock funds that he expects to grow at a rate of 10% per year compounded continuously, he wants to choose the contract that gives him the greatest future value at the end of three years. Okay, so, so he has the most amount of money earned plus interest over three years. Um, so the last payment, so uh, signing bonus is at the beginning uh, of the first year, and all of these payments happen at the end of the year. All right, so take a few minutes, see if you can figure out which option he should choose. The formulas from pre-calculus about future value and present value are a little further down the page, if you don't remember them. 